Free pancake day! Geeks of the Week! Hey guys, welcome to Geeks of the Week. I'm Jake and today I'm going to talk about stuff. I have a list. We'll go through that, but as you saw in the beginning of my video, today is St. Patrick's Day, I think, and um, I helped give out free pancakes today. Yes! Gonna wear that green, obviously I'm not wearing the green right now, but in a couple minutes after this video, I plan to wear some green, go down to IHOP with my girlfriend and a few of our friends, get those free pancakes, pea cakes. Yes! So I realize I am a week behind, so just last week was kind of... A blur. It, it was my spring break and I realized I did have the time to make the video, but I'm not gonna lie, when it was Tuesday, I thought it was still Monday, and so I just didn't make a video last week. I am sorry, I should have made one, but I don't know, work and doing school stuff when I shouldn't be having to do school stuff in my break kind of just threw off everything, but I'm here for a video during my school week, so yay. So first off, I just want to say that Steph, I'm glad to hear that you had a unique, good experience at ToyCon, Mega ToyCon, whichever it was called, something with toys and stuff. That sounded pretty cool, I'm not going to lie. I don't have a lot of, like, little figures and toys and stuff like that, but I don't know, just the experience that you had sounded really interesting and it's something I feel like I'd want to check out one day. And I hope that your preparation for WonderCon, I think it was, I hope, ooh, I hope it was WonderCon. Yeah, I think WonderCon, maybe. But I hope that that goes well for you and everything gets sorted out. And I know you didn't make a video yesterday, but hope everything's good and hope everything gets figured out and all that kind of jazz. Mario talked about watching the Oscars and Birdman and stuff like that. I have not watched the Oscars. I have not watched Birdman. I haven't really done anything with my life. I've been in here doing Jacob's stuff. Like life. I started working on cosplay a little bit. That's that. In Nikki's video, for the first five seconds, I feel like something might have happened with Firefly. I, I don't know. Maybe. And then after watching Nikki's video, I was like, Whoa! I need to watch this Con Man video, movie, thing. I gotta watch it. I mean, it sounds really entertaining. And, I don't know, it's just... I haven't heard about this before. This is exciting, because it's like a movie about a convention, I guess. I forget already. Con Man, Convention Man, something. But, I don't know, it sounds exciting, and I kind of want to look more into it, see what it's about, and yes. I didn't see a video from Lulu last week, but Lulu, I miss you, and I'm glad that in your video a week or two ago, whichever one I didn't respond to, I was happy to see that you didn't judge me for saying anything wrong. That was a nice feeling for once. So I'm going to make this video pretty quickly because I got stuff to do. Like, I got my workout class in like 30 minutes, so I gotta go do that real quick. But as I said in the beginning of the video, if you guys haven't heard, it is St. Patrick's Day and IHOP is giving out free pancakes if you wear green. So make sure you do that. Some of the things I want to talk about really quick was, for those of you that follow Rooster Teeth passionately like me, kinda, eh, I mean, I like to think I'm um, passionate about following them. But if you have not seen, they just released a moo new movie trailer, not moo, new movie trailer called Laser Team. They've been working on this movie for, oh, I don't want to say a year, but they've been working on this movie for a while. And they finally released their official trailer yesterday, I believe it was. Basically what the movie is about is four guys, they discover this crash landing thing and they find these different parts for like alien technology armor kind of stuff. There's a cannon, or arm cannon, uh, helmet, speed shoes, and like some shield thing. But basically these four guys have to work together and save the world from some alien doomsday kind of thing. And, I don't know, just watching the trailer, if you have not seen it, which I will post a link below, it is an amazing, amazing looking trailer, and I can't wait to see the movie. One, because I love Rooster Teeth, and Gavin Free is in it, because I like Gavin. Yeah. And then second news with Rooster Teeth and all that kind of stuff, which I like. They just opened a few new job openings, if you have not heard. They have one for, like, a graphic design kind of thing, for, like, logos and products and all that kind of stuff. And then they got one for the animation department, where... They just want like character designs and like all this kind of stuff. And then they have two openings for the 2D and 3D animation jobs, I believe. But the reason I'm talking about this is that's why I'm making this video quick. is because I've really wanted to work at Rooster Teeth for a while. And I mean, I know I don't have all the artistic skills and all that kind of stuff like I wish I did. 
But right now I'm trying to pump out as much art as I can, like to the best of my abilities, and hopefully turn that in as my portfolio and see maybe if I can work there. I doubt I actually will, but it's a good experience for me to get some new types of drawing styles in, like with character design, environment design, life drawings, and all those kind of different things. And so, yeah, I want to make this video quick and go back to doing that, even though I suck at it. Speaking of drawing and all that fun stuff, I actually been drawing a lot more recently, been trying to make it more high quality and nice looking. And in my adventure of the art, I have come across Steven Universe, which I personally love now, I'm not gonna lie. If you have not seen Steven Universe, I highly recommend it. It's clearly a kid's show, yes, but it's like a lot like Adventure Time, like some other kid's shows like that where it starts off goofy, it's just like random kind of bits and little filler episodes and stuff like that. But then, there's just like little arcs in there which hit the feels. The feels, man. I recently watched two of the most recent episodes, which was Jailbreak and something else. And it showed like some secrets behind characters and the possible death of characters, which one I really liked. But anyways, you should definitely check out that show and... The reason I wanted to talk about that was because I've been drawing that so much lately. Mainly this character Lapis Lazuli because she's blue. And I love blue. And she's pretty. But anyways, that's all I got for today. So make sure you go check out our Facebook page and YouTube channel, which should be below me, I think. Somewhere. Subscribe button's one of those. Um, make sure you check out all the other Geeks of the Week videos, which should be on this side and around me, kinda, I guess. But yeah, check out our Facebook page, YouTube channel, and other Geeks of the Week videos. Bye guys!